okay so good afternoon all in today's lecture we are going to see what is mean by interface how we can implement the programs based on interface what is the use of interface and what is the interface okay so let's start our today's session on interfaces in java okay so first i will share my screen the screen is visible to everyone yes yes sir yes sir okay so we know what is the pre in previous lecture what we have to see that is inheritance in java so we know that in java multiple inheritance is not supported great yes we know that that means we cannot write like this class suppose a is a class okay it extends from its parent classes like b extends from c okay as suppose so we cannot write like this statement in the java where where what we have assume a and b are classes yes okay so where what we assume that a and b are b and a okay where a is also class no doubt but b and c both are the classes but in java it is not possible to inherit a class a from the more than one classes like b and c it is not possible it is not supported in java that means multiple inheritance is not permitted in java okay great so what is the solution so solution is interface okay great so what is interface interface is actually an abstract class whose objects we cannot created okay so how it is uh, allowed in the java so guys uh suppose we know that if there is one class yes suppose interface a is a interface great so a is a interface and one class is there class b is there yes this is the class b and we have to inherit class c from extends from class b implements a guys when there is a interface keyword used is implements a because it is a abstract one all the data members in the interface are by default public and final final means constant and all the member methods are by default public one great guys hope you understand so in this way using interface we have to achieve our multiple inheritance but directly multiple inheritance is not supported if one class and one interface we have to inherit into the third child class yes it is possible great so what is interface interface is a fully abstract class and what is abstract class the abstract class whose objects we cannot be created two types of classes are there one is concrete class whose objects we have to create it. that class is called as concrete class and abstract class whose objects we cannot be created that class is called as abstract class great now how to write or define the interface so interface what is the syntax here is a access specifier access specifier yes this is access specifier then write the keyword interface and then write the 
name of interface okay then inside the body curly bracket you have to write method okay so method having return type then name of method and in that parenthesis write the parameter list okay similarly you have to write you can write number of methods and give the semicolon don't write body here only method is declared one as well as your data members so write data type okay then variable name variable name and write the value okay so in interface all the methods are by default public what is the access specifier public when you specify the access specifier of the interface as a public as well as all the data members are constant okay constant one so by default there is a final keyword what is the keyword by default we cannot write it is automatically added by the compiler that is final keyword guys here i will explain three uses of final keyword so what are the different uses of final keyword in java okay so what are the different uses of final keyword in java so first key first use so if we write final keyword for data members then that data members comes constant okay so that data members becomes constants yes that is the first use second use method if method is there okay member method or any method is there and you write the keyword before their access specifier that is final keyword then that method that method becomes methods becomes what final means what we cannot that final method we cannot override method okay so if the method is final then we cannot override in the derived class yes we know the concept of overriding of method so that method if a class contains one method having final and class b which extends from a okay it's okay but we cannot did that method we cannot write in the class b again okay having same name and same argument list because if it is final in the parent class then it cannot be inherited or it cannot be override we cannot override in the child class so this is the another use of the final so if final keyword is given to the before data member it becomes constant if we have to give final keyword to any method then that method we cannot override in the child class great guys hope you understand this next if you write the final keyword for class yes before class so if this is a class b and you have to write the keyword final what happens guys if you write the final keyword then we cannot inherit that class that class becomes final constant here we cannot extends it in the next child class so if we have to give keyword final to any class then that class we cannot be inherited further okay yes understood the use of final keyword so where we give the final keyword to any data member any method or any class so they becomes constant if it is 
beta member it becomes constant it's simple meaning again in the method that is also a constant but 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 constant means what we cannot override it class becomes constant if you give the keyword final to the class that means we cannot inherit it okay so that is the meaning so that is the uh, meanings of yes all these are the meaning of final keyword guys hope you understand that now one more important thing the java compilers adds public and abstract keyword before the interface method and public and static keyword before the data members so this this is a data member before the data member which keywords are there so that is static and final okay automatically added by your java's compiler as well as what are the keywords are assigned to the method in the interface automatically automatically so first it adds the public access specifier automatically then abstract okay. so method is abstract that means we must implement it in the child class so we will see that part okay so guys you have understand what is meant by the interface interface is a pure abstract class whose objects we cannot be created okay what is the syntax to create the interface first is the access specifier then the keyword interface then name of interface you can give any name to that interface then inside the body of interface you have to write member functions and but these member functions are only declared that is the abstract and public one so then the data members are by default constant means the keyword static and final is given to that data members automatically by java's compiler you no need to write it explicitly okay it is given automatically by your java's compiler next thing is all the methods all the methods and the data members or variables in the interface are implicitly having access specifier public what is the access specifier both method and the data member public if the interface is declared with the access specifier public if interface is declared as access specifier public both the access specifier for that methods and the variables declared in inside the interface is public yes guys hope you understand now take one example so I'll delete it so what is the example so first guys we have to create one class a great so a class contains one method suppose void show yes this is the method next you some tabs here so it's very easy for understanding purpose write one statement that is system dot out dot print ln okay so write one message that is relevant that is inside a class okay yes so this is the method inside the class a so class a contains one method that is the show and contains one statement that is inside a class okay next now we have to create interface so how to create interface either give the access specifier default or you can give the access specifier public no doubt then class b interface b so b is a interface that is abstract class pure abstract class whose objects we cannot be created in java okay great so what we have to do we have to either declare the method that is suppose void display so void display is the method declared so give the semicolon at the end of the that so this is called as the 
method declaration by default this method is becomes abstract so we have to implement it in the child class okay otherwise the child class also becomes abstract let's i will show you okay so this is the method only i have de declared one method no need to write uh, another data members one by step by step we will see that so this is the inter face b okay next now we have to create another class class c extends yes extends from class a and implements okay implements s is there implements from b so class c new class that is the child class or sub class which is extends from class a yes because all the methods are coming inside the class c only private data members and member functions are not inherited otherwise all the data members and the member functions are inherited so that's why it gives the keyword extends because c class becomes extends okay because c class having its own some methods are also there then implements b because interface we have to implement in the c class so we can use the keyword implements for the class to inherit we have to use keyword extends and to inherit the interface we have to use the keyword implements understood so this is which type from the class a and b we have to inherit only one class c that means multiple inheritance but guys this is indirect solution one class and one interface from that we have to inherit one child class it is possible in java but from two classes we cannot inherit single child class it is not possible in the java understood yes okay so guys here if we implements b class what is the needed void display must we have we have to write the definition for void display otherwise class c becomes abstract one okay i will show you so i have to implement it by using this play okay void display so void display inside that we have to write our statement suppose system dot out dot println give the message which you want inside c class okay so write the proper messages inside the c class great just complete it now create the class d okay so class d contains our public public static void main function okay then string you can write anything suppose a yes it is also possible you can give the name to the argument array as you wish okay so inside the main method what we have to create we have to create the object of a c class is equal to new call the constructor yes you know that default constructor when we have not write any constructor inside the class there must present a default constructor that is zero argument constructor yes it is present inside the class c that's why we have to call using new keyword to the default constructor zero argument constructor which creates the object on the heap partition and returns the reference that is the base address of that object and that reference is saved into the ob that is ob is the object reference variable so it is called as object reference variable great but sake of convenience we have to call ob as a object but really it is not a object it is a it is a object reference variable okay so let's check ob dot we can call show method yes it is possible why because in the c class show method is inherited from the class a yes as well as display method we have to implement it in the 
क्लास सी नेक्स्ट ओ बी डॉट विच मेथड वी हैव टू कॉल डिस्प्ले ये इट इज पॉसिबल ये वी हैव टू कॉल दिस टू मेथड ग्रेट कंप्लीट द मेन मेथड एंड कंप्लीट द क्लास डी ग्रेट गाइज so this is a actually example of multiple inheritance in java using interface interface what is interface interface is a pure abstract class all the methods in the uh, interface are by default abstract and the data members are by default final final means constant in java great now save it into our java program files give the name to that class as a d dot java yes and save it great so this is your source code file that is d dot java guys now minimize it open our java programs right here cmd command prompt open the command prompt yes then write java c first compiler d dot java that is the source code file check whether there is any error oh yes there is an one error what is the error error display in c cannot implement display in b why okay attempting to assign weaker access privilege was public oh yes yes what is the rule guys when you implement void display in the c class okay by default its access specifier is default you must have to write stronger access specifier than that or equal that is public is the strongest in all so use public void display otherwise it gives you syntactical error yes attempting to assign weaker access privileges okay so use was public so you can use either public access specifier at least okay now check whether there is an error oh yes there is an error why because we have to made the changes but we cannot save it so first properly save it after saving go to command prompt and compile your java's source code file yes so now java's class file is created but how many class files are created let's check i will show you and so show you one more important thing mm, yes okay so classes are a b c d yes okay so okay so these are the class files okay created now now run it how to run it java d by d because d contains the main function and what is the call format java java's interpreter d dot main so main method must be static and public because it is accessible from outside the class or source code file and the a static one because it is called by its class name so java d don't write here d dot class when you execute it java d dot class no it is not possible okay it is d dot main main is automatically there that's why just write d and press enter so inside a class inside c class great next thing i hope you understand this interface part now as per the previous rule what we have to if we have to create ob b object of b class oh yes b is not a class b is an interface so is it possible yes but how we have to say that we cannot create object of interfaces we cannot create objects of interfaces then how it is possible guys we cannot create the object of interfaces but 
can create reference variables yes it is possible we can create reference variables of interface b so if we create the reference variable b ob but new b no it is not possible okay so we what we have to do we have to create the object of c class new c that means it creates the object of c class that is the child class yes and its reference we have to assign to its parent class yes it is possible in java it's correct and then what happens let's see so if we save it okay and go and compile it oh no it gives you error what is the error cannot find symbol ob dot show method show okay variable ob of type b what is this yes because we have to access show method and display method why show method is not accessible guys if you create the object of child class yes it is also possible and assign the reference to its immediate parents yes interface b is also a parent of c and a is also a parent of c class but guy is using ob that is a reference variable of b class b interface only void display method is accessible show method does not accessible so please note down this point now save it again compile it java c d dot java okay so it's compiled it's correctly then just interpret it inter inside c class great so some important things when you implement methods in the interface into any child class you have must write access specifier as a public then java does not allow to create object of interface yes java does not allow us to create the object of interface but reference variables of the interface we can create yes guys always remember ob is a reference variable of interface b not an object and new c called the constructor of the c class which creates the object of c class and assign its reference to this parents reference variable yes it is possible but vice versa does not possible vice versa means what suppose you create the object of a class and assign its child class so which is the child class c okay great so let's save it first then go to the command prompt and check it whether it gives correct or oh no incompatible error there is syntactical error incompatible types a cannot be converted to c that means vice versa is not possible okay that means you can create the object of parent class and assign its reference to the child class object reference variable it is not possible but when you create the object of c class and assign it to the you have to create the object of c class and you have to assign it to the a class reference variable yes it is possible but using ob we can access only show method not the display method just i have to save it and check whether it gives you compilation error or not yes okay ob dot display cannot find symbol yes method display location variable ob of type a variable ob of which type a and we can call only show method of a class we cannot call the display method of interface b not possible great okay so when you remove ob dot show and comment for the ob dot display again first save it properly and then compile it there is no compilation error guys just check yes it is possible 
then you can just interpret it and see the output that is inside a class great guys hope you understand concepts yes just give the reply yes or no hello sir yes sir a class c can't have its own functions you no you can create yes i will show you if you want then you can create its own functions yes methods we can actually in java we can call it as a methods so void suppose this c this is the method yes okay and you can write some message inside that inside suppose this c okay and complete the curly brackets so this this c is the method of class c now yes now tell me if i have created the object of c class yes and its object reference is assigned to the reference variable of class a shall i access this c using ob reference variable suppose ob dot no sir this c yes great no let's check for save it and check it by using our interpreter and compiler java's compiler yes okay so it's give so error cannot find symbol that is ob dot display in no method this c okay location variable ob of type a it is a type a ob object reference is type a and we can access only the methods and data members inside the class a only we cannot because refer object of c class but assigned to the reference variable of a class so only the methods and the data members which are in the reference of a class we can access it by using ob and we cannot access the display c great okay clear the doubt yes yes sir okay great hope you enjoying this lots of concepts are there and in depth uh, actually i have no more time then also we i am not uh teaching you very fast we will go slowly which contains all the concepts in that particular concept so interface we will see next part of the interface okay so is it possible suppose this is also a class no class it is a interface okay and if the i have define the method inside the interface is it okay that is definition of method inside the interface is it possible yes no what sir. do you think no sir no yes no just check it and read the met and read the errors properly okay so no interface ex expected here extends a a is a now interface so which keyword we have to use implements okay second then error four interface abstract methods cannot have body okay in the interface what is the required abstract methods interface contains abstract methods you, you don't write any keyword abstract but it is by default abstract and abstract method does not have any body okay so this is second error third error incompatible types c cannot be converted to a this c cannot be converted to a okay so these are the different different errors okay so let's remove one by one so just i have copy this or copy and paste where to paste it inside the okay why because this is a and must must write which keyword public access specifier before void show otherwise it gives you syntactical error okay then remove the body and all the things and give the semicolon 
because interface A contains the methods which is by default abstract and public having access specifier public. Great. Now there are two interfaces, interface A, interface B, and we want to implement both the interfaces in the class C. So which keyword is used? Not extends. Otherwise, it again gives the error. So implements. Okay, implements A, implements B. Yes, it is possible. Yes, we will see that. Next, next. First, we have to create the object of C plane C O B. That is reference variable also C class and object is also C class. Okay, so in this way, we have to access all the methods ob dot show yes it is possible ob dot c yes it is possible again ob dot display okay this is also possible to access yes now save it properly just compile it check whether there is any error oh no curly bracket expected Yes, because C class C implements A implements B. Oh, we cannot write like this in Java. Similar to C language, also we have to write CPP. We have to write if the two interfaces are there, we have to implement, then just write implements A comma B. A comma B. Great. So let's see whether error is given oh yes error is removed okay understood so we have know the syntax also class c implements a implements b it is a wrong one if the both are the interfaces then in which way we can write it class c implements a comma b great now I execute it yes so press enter inside a inside c inside this c okay so as per the sequence of calling to the show display disp c we have get the output that is sequential programming is there not a multi-threading programming okay we will see actually multi-threading programming also in java in later sessions great so guys tell me you understood all the concepts yes Till this. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, shall we extend the interface in the interface? Suppose this is the interface. Interface A having one method void show, which is abstract one. Interface B having one method void display. Shall we write like this? Suppose. I want to implement A interface in inside the interface B. Shall we? Which keyword is used? Implements or extends? What do you know? What do you want? If interface B, we have to inherit this what void show method, then what we write? Implements or extends from A? Implements no extends a because a is the interface that interface we want to inherit in the interface b then which keyword is used extends guys always remember because this b interface become bigger one now this show method is also inside the interface b understood so b becomes bigger that means extends Okay, guys, I'm understood. We cannot implement it. Inside interface, we have to implement this show method. No, it is not possible. We cannot implement or define the method inside the interface. So don't use implements. Instead of that, use extends. Always remember, extends keyword is used for classes and implements keyword is used for interface. It is not the rule. Implements means we have to implement whatever may be the abstract method inside the A and B. Extends means whatever inside the A 
is inherited in the B and B becomes bigger one. That is X stands. Okay. Great. Understood, guys? Yes. So we can extend the interfaces. Yes, it is also possible. Now, no need to write in implement class C implements only what we have to write. Just B. Because B contains all the methods and data members inside the interface A also. So just write implements B. Now B having two methods, show and display, must implements in the C class. Otherwise, class C becomes abstract. Just, just I will show you that also. So first I have to save it, compile it, okay, and run it. Yes, it gives the proper output, okay. Now suppose only I have to implement the disk method in the interface B, but I have not implemented the show method in, in the A guys what happens b contains both the methods void and show that must be implemented all the abstract method we have to implement in the c class otherwise c class becomes abstract otherwise c class becomes abstract why because if any class contains any method only one method as abstract then that class becomes abstract class let's see i have to save it Okay, and just compile it, read it properly. So error, C is not abstract, great. Because we have to write the keyword abstract to the C class. It is not done by implicitly, by compiler. Okay, does not override abstract method show in a class C. Okay, cannot find symbol, ob.show. Yes, it is not find. Okay, because it is the error afterwards. Ob dot show, not find. Okay, if you remove, comment it, save it, then it removed. Only, okay. Now only one error is there. What is the error? C is not abstract. Because why C is not abstract? Why this type of error? You should read the error messages properly. You should read. It clears your conceptual understanding. Okay, so what is the error message? So we know why this type of messages are there. Why? What is the um, relevance between that? So yes, there is a relevance. What is the C is not abstract because we have to create the object of C class, but C is abstract. Why? Because C contains the abstract method which void show. Because implements B and B contains two methods because B is extends from A. So B contains two methods show and display. Now, like this situation is there, then it is very difficult. So either you have to write what keyword? Abstract. The class C. But if abstract keyword is there, then other error is there. I will show you. Okay, so just compile it. Oh, C is abstract. C is an abstract class and cannot be instantiated, means whose objects cannot be created. How we can create it? So how we can initiate, instantiate it if C is the abstract class? Only abstract class reference variables are created, not the object, not the object. New C, this creates the object actually. Guys, hope you understand. Yes. C is abstract class now. Okay. So if you write the keyword abstract, then that class becomes abstract. It is not done by implicitly, automatically. It is we have to specify the abstract keyword that removes the error. But here is the error because we have to create. Okay. So if I write the comment for all that and save it. And then give the compile it. There is no error. Yes, because there is no error. And if you run it, guys, there is no output because no display is there because we cannot call it. Yes, if you want to, does not write any any 
message or data inside the show yes it is also possible you have to just write it okay. but must write the keyword public otherwise it gives the yes it is possible then the class becomes c becomes instantiable class that means or concrete class whose object we have to create okay great now no need to give the comment line here remove the comment Again, save it properly, then compile it. Yes, there is no error. Yes, then compile and run it. Inside C, inside this C. Because show method does not having any, any statements. But body is there. Curly bracket indicates the body. Body is empty, no doubt. No problem. Any any doubts till this? Okay. So, what is the use of interface? Declaring methods that one or more classes are expected to implement. Suppose any two, three methods which is common for all. Move, describe like this. So, we can make the interface of that and other classes must implement these two methods that is the compulsion on that or mandatory for that then capturing the similarities between unrelated classes without forcing a class relationship and simulates multiple inheritance okay guys indirectly we can simulate the multiple inheritance by declaring a class that implements several interfaces yes one class and you can in implement several interfaces. Yes, it is possible. Great. Any doubts till this? Yes, any doubts till this? Okay. So, hope you understand all these concepts of interface. Yes. So, today I will stop here.